which is the best programming language. In this video, let's find out which is the best language for you in 2018. Welcome back aliens, my name is Darwin Reddy and let's get started. So how do you choose a language? Now choosing a language is almost same as buying a new phone. Now just because your friend is using a phone, you will not buy the same phone, right? Because you have a different requirement. So based on the requirement, you choose a mobile phone. In the same way, based on the requirement, you choose a language. Again, language is just a tool for software development. Yeah. So in software development, we have a lot of things. It's all about problem solving. So depend upon different problems, depend upon different solutions where you will implement it. Maybe you want to build a mobile solution, you want to build an AI solution, maybe you want to build an enterprise solution. So based on different type of solutions, we have different language to work with. So let's find out which, which, which one will be suited for you. Again, before going ahead, uh, let, me let me make it clear. None of the language is perfect. It's all depend upon your requirement you have to choose. So in no particular order, let's start with Python. So when to choose Python? Now, if you're a beginner in programming, so let's say if you have not done any programming before, if you want to choose a language, I would say Python. Because learning directly Java and C Sharp is not that easy, right? So you want an easy language to learn. And trust me, Python is easy to learn. Next, it is the fastest growing language from last two years. Thanks to the stats of Stack Overflow and GitHub, according to them, Python is the fastest growing language. Now, if, if you want to go for machine learning, if you want to go for AI, Python is the best option. Not just because it is best, it's just because there are so, so many frameworks and libraries available for machine learning. And if you go to Google and if you search for any machine learning course, they might recommend you Python. The next one is Java. Now, when you will choose Java, it doesn't matter if you like it or not, Java is everywhere. Now, if you talk about enterprise market, mobile market, the big data world, everyone is using Java. Not because it is best, it's because it, it was open source and initially they adopted Java. Now, since initially adoption was Java, so everywhere they are working on Java. My, I mean, there are some technologies like languages like Kotlin, Python, they might replace Java in future, but it's a long way going. But if you want to get into industry now, and if you want to earn a lot of money, Java is everywhere. Right, if you talk about the mobile platform, you have Android. So to build Android applications, we can use Python, we can use Kotlin. But then Python is not that efficient in terms of Android now. Maybe in future it might be. But if you want to make an Android application now, it's Java or Kotlin. Again, Kotlin is emerging now, but then we don't have much resources available for Kotlin. And if you if you face some issues, we don't have much resources, right? But in terms of Java, we have so many resources available. So in the mobile platform, Java is booming thanks to Android. In the enterprise market, if you talk about the, the banking companies, banking and financial companies, they all are using Java. Maybe they don't want to switch to the technologies because it's a, it's a big risk for them. So Java is there. And if you talk about the big data world, the Hadoop framework, it is, it is built on Java. Now there's one more advantage of learning Java, you know. If you know Java, it's, it's, if, you, if, if that's your base language, you can switch to other language very easily. Example, if you want to learn Kotlin in future. You can, if you know Java, you can learn Kotlin very easily. If you want to go for Scala, if you know Java, you can learn Scala very easily. In fact, I have learned Kotlin and Scala maybe in one week, or maybe in two, Kotlin in two days and Scala in one week, just because I was knowing Java in a, in a good way. So that's the advantage of learning Java as a, as a language. So just to recap, if you want to get into enterprise world, if you want to go for mobile application like Android, Java would be the best option. The next one is JavaScript. Now, initially, JavaScript was just a front-end technology, right? If you want to build a good UI, which is interactive, you used to use JavaScript. But now, JavaScript is everywhere. So just learn one language and you can work everywhere. So you can build a UI, thanks to AngularJS, Vue.js, uh, React.js. Uh, you can build the backend part, thanks to Node.js. And you can also go for a database in, in JavaScript. That's weird, I know. But then we have MongoDB, right? And then we have a framework to manage all this, which is Express, ExpressJS. So using one stack, which is one mean stack, you can build the entire application. In fact, mobile application. So you can also build mobile application using JavaScript. Yeah. So JavaScript is everywhere. So if you want to learn one language for everything, go for JavaScript. The next one is PHP. Now, if you are sure you want to go for web programming, you're not, you don't want to go for Android, you don't want to go for desktop, you don't want to go for enterprise market, you want to go for web app development, I would say go for PHP. Easy to learn and you can deploy your application very easily. Right, so we have so many hosting services available for PHP. We have it's easy to work on, and there are so many resources available. If, even if you are facing some issues, we have lots of resources on Stack Overflow for, for PHP. 
Now, if you just want to make it more elegant, if you want to make it more effective, you can also go for Ruby because Ruby is easy to learn again and it's more elegant uh, compared to other, other web technologies like Java, C Sharp and uh, PHP. Now, when you will choose C Sharp, what if you want to build one application or maybe if you want to code once and that application, that mobile application, you want to run on all different OS, maybe iOS, Android and Windows Phone. Do we use it really Windows Phone nowadays? Ignore. So if you want to run your application on, on, on Android or on iOS, you can build an application using C Sharp thanks to Xamarin. So you, see, you can use Xamarin, you can write C Sharp code there and you can, you can run that on Android and iOS at the same time. I mean, one code. Awesome, right? Now, so that's one way. The another thing is C Sharp is open source now. In fact, the .NET platform is open source and maybe different app, different industry in future will be will, may choose C Sharp. Yeah. And if you want to go for Microsoft, if you are sure you want to get into Microsoft ecosystem, I would say C Sharp is the best thing to go for. It's also a functional programming, just like Java and Scala. So again, Java 8, it is functional now. And in Java 9, we have so many uh, new features, right? So again, uh, that's the Java part, but then C Sharp is also functional. The next one is Swift. Now, when you will go for Swift, now if you want to get into Apple world, if you want to get into Apple ecosystem, you can go for Swift. If you want to make, be an iOS developer, if you want to be a, a Mac OS developer, you can go for Swift. It is the best one to go for now if you want to get into iOS. And the one more, there's one more thing. I, uh, Swift is now open source. So in future, there might be different industry. They might choose Swift for the for the future development. Now, when to choose C and C++? Now, it should be the first one, right? But then, as I mentioned, there's no particular order. Now, if you want to go for game development and if you want to go for embedded programming, I would say C and C++ is the best option. So, you can, you can build embedded softwares and if you want to go for game, it's the best option. So, after looking at all these languages, which one to select? So, again, as I mentioned, it's all about technology. So, select with technology first, for mobile, enterprise or web and depend upon that, choose a good language for you. And also, if you can learn multiple language, like, you know, one language from functional programming, one language from object-oriented programming, it will be helpful for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching.